Hey guys, what's up? DJ Nicky T1979 here. Um, haven't been about for a while. I've um, been keeping myself very, very busy with work and bits and pieces. But I've um, got a bit of free time, so I'm going to do a little video. This is my second account. So this video is just to kind of help out um, the beginners and intermediates. Um, this isn't going to be any of help for um, any, you know, sort of the big gamers, the top sort of 50, 100 players. This isn't going to be any benefit to yourselves. But this is just to help out the intermediates um, and the beginners, just to show you that you can still use, because when you get to a, a decent level, um, lots of people start to use um, the attack of Rook, uh, sorry, um, Apollo, Rook, and either Shank, uh, or blunderbuss, something like that, uh, or aurora. But um, when you're a lower level, you can still use um, Apollo and Rook. Um, you just can't use blunderbuss, obviously, because you probably won't have it. Um, so I use Tiny, and the reason for that, I've just just got Brawlers, but I've, I actually was still using this attack with Bombers and Dragons. So I'll show you an, another video from my third account, which is a lot lower than this one. Uh, and again, you can still use this same attack. And the attack is basically what you do, as soon as you push play, you push Rook's Wall Shield. So all of those troops will then be shielded, and they'll be able to take, I think, Rook's around about a, a, a thousand hit points at the minute something like that so it can take all those hit points before the shield starts to wear off so that gives you a little bit of time for your troops to run around and do some serious damage and then what I do I'll then send Tiny he'll jump right the way over here to this marksman tower and as soon as he lands he'll deal about 280 percent worth of uh, attack damage and then what you do is you click squabble if you've got squabble hopefully you should have by now um and it he'll deal something ridiculous like about 600 percent attack damage killing those defenses very very quickly and then i'll send them over to this one to take out this marksman tower with the same concept allowing all of your troops to run around and do what they have to do uh, so I'm going to go ahead and push play and you can see exactly what happens. So straight away, push the, the Rook wall shield to shield all of your troops. So there you can see the little Rook sign. So all of those troops are now being healed. The Brawlers are just going to run around, taking out any defences in their way. Tiny's now run over there, jumped over there, sorry, used his squabble killed those defences, jumped back to the other marksman tower to take that one out, and then there's not really anything left that can kind of take out these uh, these troops while they're being healed, um, and we've still got we've still got all three heroes left. Look, so it's going to be quite an easy uh, quite an easy base to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I then did was I sent Rook over here, this kind of area. I don't know if you saw it. You can just rewind it. And what happens is when he um, moves over to a different part of the base, he will then attract, absorb all of these defences in this kind of area, and they will just all go straight for Rook. Um, and he'll just absorb loads and loads of uh, 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 defense points uh, and he reduces all the defenses by about 70 percent as well so again you know it just allows your troops just to run around scot-free while the defenses are just attacking rook it really is a very very good attack and like i said you can use it at any level you can use it as soon as you get Rook, um, because you only need Apollo's Dawn Blade. I mean, it is nice to have the Heroic Charge, but you won't get that until you get Legendary. So there we have it. It's uh, a decent base, and to be honest, you know, my my heroes at this level aren't aren't amazing. Um, I'll show you actually what I've got. So at the minute, I've got Apollo's on twenty four. 
His skills are on 20, 21 and 23. And as you can see there, 17, 14 and 12. So he's not exactly brilliant. Rook's on similar. He's uh, level 23, 18, 11 and 17. And again, you know, only 12, 20 and 23. And similar for Tiny. In fact, Tiny is not even as good. So as you can see, the heroes aren't at a great level, yet that attack is so, so effective. So what I'll do, I'll load up my uh, third account and show you the same kind of attack with even lower level heroes. Okay, so this is my third account. As you can see, it's not amazing. It's, it's okay. We're, we're kind of getting there. Uh, we're only sort of level keep nine. So I've just actually done an attack um, while I was waiting for it to load up. So I'll just show you exactly how this one works. So, you know, for my level, this is actually quite a good base. Um, it's got three fireball towers. So, you know, it's, it's not, again, it's not amazing, but it's quite a big base to cover for, you know, this, this kind of level. So I just want to show you that this still works at this level. Uh, as you can see there, we've got the dragons, the bombers, and the scouts. So what happens with the scouts is they just go for the loot. So that kind of distracts the rest of your troops because the scouts will run off ahead, um, leaving your troops to kind of mop up behind them. So that's why this is a very, very good attack. And as you can see in there, we've got Apollo, Rook, and Shank. So I haven't gone for Tiny this time. I'm, I'm, I'm with Shank. I just wanted to try different different ways to see what, what kind of happens. So Shank will use his Wicked Blades. Um, he fires about... Well, it depends how many uh, defences are within the 8-tile radius. Um, and his level that I'm on at the minute, they'll, they'll deal about 300% plus uh, attack damage. And again, with Apollo's um, Dawn Blade and Rook's Wall Shield. So, I'm going to go ahead and play. And straight away, you can see the Wall Shield going to work. Off go the scouts there. And I'll launch the Dawn Blade towards this marksman uh, fireball tower over here. Trying to take out those four defences. Um, and then what I'll do, I will then send my rook around about here to start taking... Uh, all the uh, the defences around that area. They will just go for Rook. You'll see what happens. So as he dives into that area, all those defences will then start going for Rook. There we go. See all the arrows? So all those defences are now just aiming at Rook. That's it. So then I'll heal up the uh, the defences, one uh, my troops, one more time. As you can see, uh, Shank dealing his Wicked Blades there. Apollo launches his uh, Dawn Blade, and I'll uh, dive Rook one more time in a second toward that Fireball Tower. And there we go. So now Shank is free to do his thing. And then just two more defences to go. And like I said, that's a relatively good base considering the level that I am on. Um, you know, that's, that's quite a nice, nice three star there. You know, you can see the difference in that base and my base. My base is very, very small compared to that base. So my heroes on this account, uh, Apollo's on level 20, 12, 13, and 16. Uh, 19 and 18 there on the skills. My shank's on level 19, 10, 10, and 12, uh, level 18 and 15. So not, not very good at all. And my, I've only just recently got Rook. He's on now on level 18. Uh, skills are only 6 and 9 there. Look, so they're not very high at all. And, and you've seen what damage he can do. And level 15 and 13. So, you know, those heroes aren't great. And you can see the attack I've just done. How effective it is. So, that's, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Really, just, you know, you can do that really, really effective attack at a low level. So give it a go and see what you think and uh, see how you get on. And let me know your thoughts, guys, please. That'd be fantastic. Uh, also, just on a, on a last note, there is a guy um, claiming to be me. He goes under the name of Titan Empires forward slash Prince. He's actually stolen one of my videos 
Uh, and at the beginning of every one of my videos, you guys will know that I always state this is DJ Nicky T1979. So he's he's uploaded one of my videos claiming to be me, um, and it's not me. So uh, please don't follow this guy. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one, guys. Let me know how you get on, and we will see you soon.